How's it going guys, Sir Teapot here. Today we are back with more story of Teapot and I am joined by a very chilled out either. He looks rather rather confused at the phone at the moment. Uh, uh, <laughs> you reckon me, uh, it's currently 10 o'clock in the morning-ish. Uh, 5 to 10. 5 to 10. I've been up since about oh, like half past 9, nearly 20 to 10-ish. And Evie's been up since... 20, 20 past 8. Yeah, 20 past 8. And I didn't even realise Kim and Evie even got up this morning. I woke up and uh, I genuinely thought Kim was still next to me. I went to go roll over and she wasn't even there. I was like, oh, all right then. <laughs> I don't even remember. Like, I didn't even wake up or anything this morning. Um, but today I'm at work again from 2 till 9. It's going to be a, another long day, which I don't mind, but I do mind at the same time because I, I want to just be able to just... Chill out for a decent amount of time, like till maybe like five o'clock, and then just go in five, like until nine, ten o'clock or something like that. But that's not how it is, I guess. It's just, I guess I've got to do what I got to do, which I don't mind. So I'm gonna get up, get some brekkie, and uh, well, just start the day, start this day really. So laid in bed and just Evie's been, well, you just saw what she's been doing. She's <laughs> <laughs> been doing. That for some reason. I don't know what she's attempting there, but she's loving it. Uh, yeah. You mean silly bum, aren't you? This is. Oh, yeah. She just seems to love rocking back and forth as well, just like laid on, laid on bed at the moment, just chilling out because it's just stupid hot still. It's still like ridiculously humid and oh. stuff like that. But she's just doing this that strange little dance moves on bed. I don't know what she's. I don't know what she's doing, like. Well, she's just having a jig, basically. But well, I'm going to get up in a minute and uh, go get some breakfast. Also, once again, like every morning, I like to um, do the Pokemon thing. Evie's is still here. I need to put that in Evie's room. Uh, but yesterday was the 26th and it was Togepi. It's now the 27th. Oh, you know what? That means I completely forgot. It's the body boring weekend once with all the Pokemon on, which isn't really exactly boring because it's got all the Pokemon on. Um, I believe it's all just first gen Pokemon though. Um, let me check. Oh no, it's not. It's a mixture of all the generations because there's like Raichu on there. There's a. Uh, bloody. Who else is there on there? Actually, I can't really see too many of us. Oh, there's Espeon. Uh, Mew, Mew's on there. Oh, hello, Mew. I didn't even see Mew there. Uh, there is a few. There's Leafy on there. It just seems like there's actually, to be honest, Piplup's there. It looks like there's a lot of just the first, the, like the first, a lot of the first generation, and then a lot of the, um, a few of the starters from the other generations, and then a lot of the um, Eve evolutions, which is fair enough, I guess, because they're probably the most well-known and stuff like that. And then like Pichu and Raichu and stuff like that, they're pretty well-known. But today is a miserable day. To absolute no one's surprise. Because with the weather that we've been having, it always leads to really crap weather and rain. So uh, I'm not I'm not surprised in the slightest. But I'm gonna get get ready. Well, I'm gonna brush my teeth and stuff like that. Start my morning, and then like I said, get downstairs and get some breakfast. So I am now currently sat at the uh, at the PC, uh, which is a bit of a rarity nowadays. To be honest, I could actually have hands free as well for a little bit, which is nice because I could actually put you down. Um, so yeah, I'm just currently um, on the PC, and I'm currently downloading some mods um, for Skyrim. Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe I could be making a return. Hmm, who knows? I might, but who knows? I might end up uh, recording some of it just for just for fun of it. Uh, just 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 because obviously, it is a very 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 fun game to play. Um, I've just bought the um, special edition version of it. I believe it is. I bought it. I bought it yesterday, but I've just got it installed and everything like that. Because I've never actually played any of the DLC for Skyrim. So I thought it was about time that I actually um, got around to playing it. But I'm going to download some mods, like I said. It's going to be mostly law friendly mods and all that kind of stuff. But um, we and Kim have got food on the way. It should be here within the next, like, uh, like 15, 20 minutes, I believe it says. Yeah, about 15, 20 minutes till it's actually arrived, which isn't too bad. Um, and then I've got about an hour until I need to be getting off to work, which is going to be a grand... Well, actually, what time is it? Yeah, I've got about an hour and ten minutes until I need to be getting off for the bus. Because uh, I need to be getting on the bus at about 
20 past 25 past one because I'm on the same shift that I was on yesterday as well um, because well I'm working too well nine again um, this, but that was my actual proper scheduled shift and then I think I've got two more days and then I'm off for two days which is a massive bonus and then on Wednesday is my birthday which I don't actually know what I'm doing for it I don't think I'm really gonna be doing much to be honest um, pretty sure well I've got it off work um, but like I said I don't know if I'm gonna be doing anything um, so if you guys have got any ideas for plans, uh, for any ideas on what I could do or stuff like that, let me know down in the, in the comments below and um, I'll take them into consideration. So Kim has um, just come upstairs and uh, she has just brought me my food. Uh, this has just arrived and Kim is having a breakfast downstairs and I am having, oh bloody hell this looks gorgeous, a chicken burger with bacon, hash brown, barbecue sauce with chips and it looks absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to get this down because I'm absolutely bloody starving. So I am now ready to go to work. I don't know why I've got my buddy buttons all the way up the top. I look like a buddy posh twat but um, I'm going to get me bandana because today, as far as I'm aware from what I got told yesterday, I'm working at freezers today. Like, in the actual freezer, freezer, the big motherfucker freezers. And, uh... Hey, darling. If he's just there in her ball pit. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm in the big mod motherfucker freezers, basically, today. And, uh, it's going to be very, very cold in there, obviously, because it's a... It's a, it's a freezer! <laughs> so I'd hope it'd be cold. Um, so I'm going to be prepared today. I'm going to get my hat on. I'm going to get my bandana ready. I'm going to get coat... Um, a work provides a coat and everything like that, so I should be alright for a coat. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a pretty cold one today, and I won't be surprised if I leave um, the freezer with a bit of a frosty beard. So I'm now on my way to the uh, bus station to go get my bus, and uh, should be there in the next 5-10 minutes. Yeah, she should take me too long to get there. I've got about 15 minutes to get there, so I'll give myself a little bit of extra time as I always do. Um, but I'm not bobbing into being Emma or anything like that today because you know, I don't really need a drink at the moment um, and I can just get one from work. So I'm going to wait to get a drink and plus don't need any food either because as you probably saw in the last few clips um, I've already eaten and I'll tell you something, that burger was absolutely huge. I couldn't even manage to finish the rest of it. So um, I'm pretty overfaced and very, very full so it might mean I actually won't be hungry when I actually go on break. Once again, I am on my bus on my way to work, and uh, I should be getting there on a little bit later than I thought I would because this bus was set off a bit uh, later than it was supposed to, but I should only be late by the way. I will be late to work, but I should be getting to the bus station about two or three minutes later than I expected, so it shouldn't really harm us really at all because I give myself about 15 minutes to get to work, 20 minutes nearly, so it should be all alright. Uh, once again, the bus is once again completely empty like there's no one on it and uh, there is a few people downstairs but again I just like to sit on top because like I said no one seems to come up here so it's kind of handy to come up here because like I said it helps me avoid everyone um, but once I get to work I will like I said be getting a drink and then once again probably after that I'm on my break until about six o'clock um, yeah so yeah I'll be there I should be going on my break at six o'clock but that's what I usually tell them right now. I was really coasting, but I sorted out my strategies. I just couldn't cope with always hoping for no panicking. Now I've really shown it, now I'm potent, now I'm challenging. I have really grown up, didn't know what was happening. Now I get the dough up, so I know that I'll be stacking it. I just wish this dreaming would come back to me and let me see things I don't believe in and retract me from the enemy. No more real bleeding, no reacting to the enemy. Changing every season, I've been active in some therapy. Seeing is believing, I just gotta see the rest for me. Dealing with bereavement, it just so, so I thought I'd um, I, we're going to finish a bit later than we um, were expected to today, but um, no, I actually finished on time. I'm out at three minutes past nine, which is the time my bus leaves, but I don't mind shit happens. Um, so I'm going to have about half an hour wait for my bus, but I think I can get on one before that. Um, that just means I have to have a walk for like ten minutes. And to be fair, it's a pretty nice night for a walk, so... I think I'm going to take that option rather than waiting half an hour because to be honest, I think if I get that bus, I am home a lot quicker than waiting. So I am now home after being at work and as you can probably, 
Tell her I didn't mean to push that over. I am now... Mm, well, not naked. I'd be in my underwear. Because I am red hot from it being humid out there, outside. And obviously, on my way home, I just got warmer and warmer and warmer. As I always seem to do. So, um, I just literally stripped down to my underwear as soon as I walked into the house. Because it's just too hot. But, on my way home, I um, actually went to B&M first. Um, before I actually came home, came home. And I got myself... Well, I got me... Tim, this for our living room door rather than having the door, uh, the cloak coat hanging up there. We're actually going to use this and put it over the door. Uh, got some new coat hangers for us because we need a new coat hangers, which is probably the most boring thing in the universe and most adult thing in the universe. You know, you're an adult when you get excited about coat hangers. Oh, I, I did get excited, sir. So I'm, I'm not. I'm not an adult. And we also got this. Let, let me just go out a little bit. There we are. It's a bit better to see. That, uh, which is a new cabinet for uh, the bathroom, which I'm going to take upstairs in a minute and put, put um, obviously, in the bathroom. Uh, but I do need to do a little bit of rearranging to actually fit that in. And, obviously, there's the box for it. And I think that was it, really, from being in one it, apart from the energy drinks and your Doritos. Yeah, and that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so we are now, obviously, going to... Well, I'm just going to chill out for the rest of my evening and uh, give... Eva a cuddle because she has been craving a cuddle ever since I got home. So, as I said, I'm going to give Evie a cuddle and uh, she's in a very, very, very good mood that I'm giving her a cuddle. <laughs> See? She's in a very, very, very hyperactive mood. Um, so, she is just basically burning herself out because uh, it is currently 10 past 10. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like I said, she's just basically burning herself out. But she's currently watching uh, Kim feed Ken some mealworms. Because he's um he's starting to struggle a little bit um bless him because he is like I said the, uh, not too long ago he is getting old um he's over two years old now we believe and no he's not no he's, he was two in June he's free next year um yeah he, he, he just yeah he's, he turned two at the start of this month. Technically, for, well, we've had him two years at the start of this month. Obviously, he was a uh, he was alive for a little bit before we got him. Obviously, uh, he would have been alive for a few months before we got him. So he's probably about two and a, nearly two two and two years and three months old, maybe a bit more than that. But he's um <laughs> obviously he's got his uh, second floor that he uses, um and he's starting to struggle getting up his little ramp bit. Um, he's like he's basically like. He's just dragging his legs and stuff like that, and he doesn't have as much energy anymore and stuff like that. So we've moved his um, water bottle down to the bottom, so he doesn't have to go away to the top for his water bottle anymore. So he'd have to struggle for it. Um, but he seems kind of active at the moment. He's just he's up the top, up at top at the moment, just having a quick look around and stuff. And uh, like I said, he's getting some uh, mealworms from Kim. Uh, but like I hope um, he's, he's all all right and everything like that. But. It is inevitable. Um, it will eventually happen, so we can't be like, oh, no. Uh, it... I have been keeping my eye on him all day. He has perked up from this morning. Yeah, this morning, like I said, he was being uh, a bit iffy. Um, he was struggling a little bit, but like Kim said, he has perked up a lot, which is a massive bonus. And he does seem all right at the moment. I just think it's on a morning he struggles quite a bit. Like, he struggles getting up because of his age and stuff like that. So... Um, but now, obviously, once he's been awake for a while, and with him being a nocturnal animal, he is a lot more active on a night, which is a massive bonus. And I guess the good thing is as well that he's extreme, like an extremely fit hamster, to be honest as well. Like he's in really, really, really good shape because we don't overfeed him. We don't. Um, we, we he gets plenty of exercise and stuff like that. And obviously, he's got loads of space to be able to run around his cage and stuff like that, which is also a massive bonus. Uh, so we're gonna, uh, well, I'm just gonna keep an eye on him from now on and just keep making sure that he's all right, really. So as I said, I was gonna um, come into the bathroom and actually put um, the thing, the uh, new shelving rack in here. I'll take some up. It fits perfectly. I said I'm gonna do some rearranging because um, that's where the bin used to be. Literally, you take up that entire space basically. And I didn't think the bin had fit next to it like that but it has fit perfectly and i think it looked really really good i'm quite happy with how it's turned out um because obviously this bathroom is not the biggest bathroom in the universe um but it it does what it needs to do which is all that matters to me it holds 
everything that it needs to hold, which all that matters really, like I said. Um, so I'm going to get downstairs and I'm going to just, I think I'm going to play some video games. To be honest though, you might end up seeing me in bedroom soon, playing some Skyrim. So, I am actually ed editing this video together at my PC for once. And um, I've actually got to the end of the video, edited together and realised I never did an outro last night for some reason. I feel like I did though. I just can't seem to find it anywhere, which is a little bit bizarre. Um, but I guess I'll just do it now. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, uh, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe. Also, if you could share it with your friends, that would help massively. Also, um, down below in the description is a link to all this um, social medias and stuff like that as well. So if you'd like to follow us on any of them, they're all down there for you. Also, if you'd like to support us in other ways, we do have a Patreon. But obviously, you just watching the video is enough support as it is. So we appreciate all the same. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's video at, I believe it should be, 6pm from now on. And peace.